Okay, cool. What is up? Um, my name is John Malinowski, if you don't know. Um, just making this video real quick, if you can see in the title, um, wherever that is at. Um, this video is about how I am 26 years old and I make $50,000 per month. Basically, a short story about me and my background. If you're not like really clear on it, if this is your first time like hearing about me, basically I started um, out of college and I was making my first job um, making like basically $50,000, $60,000 a year. And now um, I just knew that I was set up for more and wanted to pursue my passion and my dream, which is growing businesses and investing in businesses really now um, is the main thing. But that is like just a little bit about me. So the reason I mentioned that is because, I mean, who really cares, I guess, you know, but the reason I mentioned that is if you are in a place the reason I'm sharing this is if you are in a place that like you're not super happy with or not super thrilled about, just know that like if I can share my story about starting off in a place like miserable in a nine to five job, um, just knowing that you have more potential, don't stop chasing it because like you just never know what can happen. There's a, some kind of a quote, um, I think it's by Jim Carrey, but he says something like, um, most people think that their like aspirations are so like ridiculous and out of this world that you never dare to ask the universe for it. And like, that is the most true thing ever. And I can just, you know, like people don't even dare like to ask or like try to follow their passion. So definitely do that. Um, because if I just, if I can get one person to follow their passion, then honestly this video and really this part of my like career, which is basically sharing um, information material education anything like that online here um if i can help one person know that like dare to dare to dream dare to ask the universe for what you want and you will be really really surprised um if you put the work in so that's just like another thing that really goes into it is keep keep putting that work in is there's a story about a bamboo certain bamboo tree in china and it, you plant it and it takes five years of every single day for it to ever even break up out of the ground and you ever even like see a plant from it so you have to uh, water it and nurture it every single day if you miss one day the plant dies and then once after five years the the um bamboo comes up out of the ground and grows to be like like 60 feet and so when you when i first heard that story they'll ask like well, how long did it take the tree to grow uh, that those like you know that 50 feet? Was it six weeks or was it five years? And the answer is obviously five years. Um, it and I think the point and I think the point of that story and I just it definitely feels true is like you can kind of know that you're up to something before the rest of the world or like what you're really like doing like materializes itself. So like just have faith in yourself and like dare to dream because like I said, if I can just convince one person to do that, like you'll be so surprised. Um, and if you think you have more potential, definitely go for it because it's like, you know, you can really surprise yourself basically. Um, and then during those, during like the five years basically, or for me really it was like a year and a half um, from quitting my job to getting back like kind of uh, there's another cool quote and I think it was um, it was like security and something um, is the beginning like you have to you have to basically be able to be certain amount of like security before you can actually start to grow so like there's gonna be in the beginning where like you can't actually truly be creative and do exactly what you want to do day to day um, kind of pick and choose what you want to be involved with so in the beginning you're gonna have to take some L's you're gonna have to do shit you don't want to do you're gonna have to take calls you don't want to take you're gonna have to meet with people you don't want to meet with you're gonna have to travel places you don't want to go but once you have your security and once you grind and hustle um, you can actually start to pick and choose and actually let your creativity and like let your true passion come through so that is something big like definitely put in that work in the beginning and then you will be able to experience like really amazing um, gifts that come from taking the risk and doing shit you don't want to do so if i can help one person like that'd be absolutely huge and when you're trying to find something that that like actually works for you in that time before you actually come up with what your what your big idea is or the thing that actually takes off the one quote that I really liked was, you have to be able to move from failure to failure, failure um, without, a, uh, without losing enthusiasm for the work that you're doing. So um, no matter what, like, 
you have to be enthusiastic, you have to have a good attitude, and um, you have to take responsibility at the end of the day for what your circumstances are. And if you don't like your circumstances, well, there's you're not a tree, and like everybody says that, but it's really true. Um, you're not a tree, like you can go and pick everything up that you want, pick up your life and take it where you think is better. Um, you might find that um, you travel around a lot and um, you have to sometimes leave places to know that you really like the place that you're from. So that's one thing, um, but I would definitely, yeah, it, it'd be good to get out of your hometown. But like, if, you're, if there's something you're not happy with, you can change the circumstances. And um, like when I first got started, I had a lot of people who were like, who do you think you are? Like, you're gonna leave your job. You have no experience doing real estate. You have no experience doing this. You know, experience doing that. Um, you've never written any software. Uh, you've never coded before, like, anything like that. What makes you think you can do this, this, and that? But honestly, um, you have to have the desire first, and then it'll always like manifest in the right way um, if you just believe in yourself and create the right circumstances. And so the last thing that I want to put in this video is um, the biggest key to making $50,000 a month. And I, maybe after I say this, I'll break down kind of like the businesses that I'm in and how I have time to make $50,000 a month because there's only one of me. But um, the big key is everything came down to wanting to genuinely uh, see other people win. And that was a big, like when you're first getting started, you're always gonna try to like maybe see if you can protect yourself and whatever stakes or whatever you have going on. So like the big thing is that you have to want to actually see other people win. Um, it, it can't just be all about you all the time. And I know it's like on, if you're trying to become an entrepreneur or whatever, um, and you have to be, like you need a team to do that. And in order to have a good team, you have to genuinely want the people who are on your team to win and do better than even you and in, in a lot of the deals and a lot of the businesses that you're in you want to see the other people win you know like you should be really super stoked when you see somebody that you helped out gave them a, like a little tip or this or that um to see them win off of that like don't hold back the amount of value that you can provide to somebody whether they're paying you or not paying you um you just have to love seeing other people win as a leader and somebody who like manages teams you have to love seeing people win and a lot of times viewing team members or employees or whatever i view that as a massive investment um and obviously like it's an investment to see them win and set them up for circumstances and an environment to help them win and succeed at the best level that they can uh, but if you are like in any partnerships like honestly like I was and like any, like really it's, it's tough. I mean, some people get this naturally, but a lot of times you have like this, like you have it, it's really the abundance thing. Like you just don't recognize that there's a ton of um, like opportunity for success out there. So you try to like hoard it all for yourself. And that is, is totally forfeiting um, like really the magic of life to be honest with you. So um, don't do that. Like don't, want to like outshine people don't do that because um literally it's it's just your ego that you're trying to fill and that does nothing and if you want to build a big life it cannot just all be about your ego like there's no problem with being confident in yourself but you have to be careful of that so um and just some examples of like seeing other people win basically inside of my business is like um, when we're selling a properties to investors, which is like a bulk of what we do, um, we sell them a property for say $100,000. Um, well, there's actually an example. Like we sell somebody a property for like $80,000, they spend $20,000 fixing it up and then they sell it on the market for $170,000 and they make 70K and the fee that we charged them was maybe 10K. And so they made like 70 or 80K um, and we found them that equity but like that's a huge win for them another thing is when we're when, so another one of the businesses that i'm in is uh agency marketing agency so we have clients who we help them get leads to fuel their business and their revenue so we sell that service for maybe two thousand dollars a month roughly two to three four thousand dollars a month a month depending on what business it is and basically for that, for those two thousand dollars to work for them, we are going to be able to find them potentially ten to twenty or twenty, 
to 30 uh, people who are interested in doing the service that they provide. And then we have a 10% close rate so they can get like really two to three deals from that. And each deal for them is worth sometimes five, 10 K. So they're spending two, three K and they're making 10, 20, 10, 15, sometimes way more than that back. So when you're building these businesses, you really have to want to set up the other people to win and do well. Um, and those are just a couple of examples. And like, the last thing is, is you never, the thing that I always want to do when I'm dealing with people is I never want anybody to ever, ever be able to question what my value is or what I bring to the table, which basically in my head, it helps me think and say, well, basically you have, I always want to go the extra mile. That's the way I think of it. What can I do for my team? Um, any, any of the, any of the clients, any of my investors, any other partners, vendors, anybody how can i go the extra mile so that nobody ever kind of at the end of the day says like hey what's this john guy doing like why are we paying him so much or what is he like you know what i mean so you have to be willing to go the extra mile and put that work in but never let anybody question your worth and the only way to do that is to work your ass off and provide a shit ton of value so that that never happens and that will really help you um it really helped me come from like 50k or 250k from wherever wherever I started. So, thank you for taking time to watch this. Um, this is just one take. I'm good on this. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to uh, I'm happy to document this for real and uh, share this. I'm probably gonna put out some more videos, but honestly, this is a pretty cool update. And I think first of all, um, chase your dreams because I really never thought I'd be making this video um, here in this. Like, and I've been in this um, place for basically a couple of months. I'm bouncing back and forth between like Florida and New York, which is basically my dream life. I have two beautiful homes um, in both places. And really, I never thought I'd be here in this loft, like making this video saying, I went from 5K to 50K. So like, and I think it's also gonna be pretty funny because the, of the trajectory. And once you kind of get the ball rolling uh, with with your life, with your passion, um, you, you know, you already, I already know that probably look back and it's like, wow, 50K a month, made this, bragged about a spot, like stuff like that, that it's probably just gonna seem so stupid. So I really appreciate you guys for uh, dropping by watching this video and I will come back at you with a lot more details on business stuff. But this is uh, John Milanowski signing out.